Okay, time for the first test run of the engine start switches on the 727 overhead panel. Uh, these are the original engine start switches that came on the panel, and they've been wired into Interface It uh, board from Flight Deck Solutions. And uh, we're going to do the first little test run here. All the covers are currently closed, and you can see that the switch is in its neutral off position and uh, already set the mixture to full so we should be ready for the test run and we can look up here at the flight simulator screen and confirm that our engines are not running just using the default 747 overhead panel excuse me 747 main panel here as the default and uh, gonna do the little engine start test here so as I said mixture set to full we have our switches set to neutral off and we're going to try to crank number one so pressing down on the start switch and we hear the starter engage and from there we'll keep our finger on the switch and we'll look up at the overhead and watch for the engine coming online see the RPM slowly increasing hopefully there's the catch and we can release from the switch and put the switch back in its neutral position and close the cover. Alright, time to try number two. Down on the switch. We can hear that starter engage. Look up at the panel. See the engine RPMs coming up. We'll wait for that one to engage. And it's online. We'll release the switch and switch back in the neutral position, we'll close the cover. Alright, now for the third switch, opening up and we will press down on the starter. We hear the starter engage and we wait for the engine to come online as we do. Watch the RPMs and engine online. We can go ahead and close our cover, and that's a successful engine start with the newly interfaced switches.